Ladies and gentlemen, this event, one fall, 30-minute time limit. The contestant in this corner from Huntington Park, California, weighing 235 pounds, Bozo Brown. His opponent in the opposite corner from Quincy, Massachusetts, weighing 200 pounds, Johnny the Great Balbo. The referee, Fred Nicholas. Good evening, everyone. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from ringside again at International Amphitheater, where tonight, promoter Fred Kohler has brought together the guy on the left, Bozo Brown, and the boy on the right, Johnny Balbo from Quincy, Mass. Mr. Brown hails dubiously from Huntington Park, California. I don't know whether he's taxpayer there or not, but he has adopted the town. He does not choose to shake hands. Fred Nicholas is the referee. This is one fall, 30 minutes. Brown is a big one, isn't he? Oh, and he wrestles formally, too. He's an old mean name. chin lock. Mr. Balbo did not like that poke in the ribs that he got from Bozo. There's another one. And more chin lock. Nicholas checking it here for choke. He okays it. Head and shoulders on Balbo. Into the corner. Balbo breaks of his own volition and clean. arm lock outside. Flying head scissors. What a beauty. The crowd just uh, loves it. Needless to say, Mr. Brown does not. Another one. There's a drag. Another one. Look out here. Uh oh. Fun tack. Fun tack twice. The drag on our Mr. Brown. So it seems from here he has had a sufficiency. Oh, go away. I want my mother. Uh-uh-uh, Mr. Brown. That's a good boy. The head and shoulders again on Dalba. Made an arm lock falling out of that one. The drag on Balbo. Oh, Mr. Corral won.
Our Mr. Klinkenberg is busy trying to get out of the way. Which I don't do. Well, he's not going to hit you with anything but a fence post, Bozo. Don't worry about it. Mr. Brown was complaining about the fact that his tactics were of no avail. That's his fault, strictly. Here's a toe hole. Nicholas, I don't believe, saw Bozo get a handful of Johnny's hair then. Bill Klinky, my sound engineer, picked up a handful of broken fingers one night at one of these matches, and so he's just a little bit wrestler shy. I don't blame him for it. So am I. There's a headlock on Balbo. Well, there's an outside wrist lock double that Balbo made the takedown with. Here's an extended wrist lock, Japanese. Are the joints all good, Johnny? Well, check them out before you let him up. Oh, what's the matter? Doggone. Bozo acting like he'd had his Wheaties ration cut down. Headlock at elbow. More headlock on Mr. Balbo. Boy, Johnny Balbo's one of the nicest lads in the business. Family man. Got a great loyal group of followers. Onto the ropes with Bozo. There's a flying toe hole. This is specialty of the house, so to speak. Now it's made into a straightforward toe hold. Richard ain't gonna be there, Bozo. I don't care how much you knock on the floor. And he just ain't gonna open it up. Watch that foot, Balbo. Yeah. I couldn't even be a good ringside general, could I? Ooh. Right where he puts his tomatoes and potatoes and oysters. That was a kangaroo kick right in the jaws. Here's a headlock again on Balbo. when this guy hits these ropes. Oh, brother, did Balbo measure him with that drop kick? He flattened his nose all over his face. But I don't think he improved his looks a bit. Bozo is going for a small walk. Headlock again. Boy, Brown can take a headlock away from a guy faster than any I've seen in a long while. Bozo, if you keep that up long enough, you're going to make Mr. Balbo mad. See what I mean? Come on, Junior, wake up. He's funnin', he's funnin', watch him. 
Come on now, Bozo. Serious up, boy. Cross chin lock on Balbo. And there's Mr. Balbo out on our side, and that does never please him. Makes him roar in an onion. How much of this can he take? Johnny's waiting his chance. Well, there's a check. Oh, hello. What are we going to have, a taffy pole? Could be. Now, Mr. Brown. Was it Dwight Fisk used to say, now, Mr. Brown, if you please? Balbo even loosened him, which most, most lads wouldn't do. Knee lift. Bozo turned on another supply of energy from somewhere, didn't he? Drag on Johnny. There's another one. Look out here. Low bridge, boy. You're Mr. Brown. Uh, well, Mr. Brown is now using Mr. Clinky's chair. These kiddies are really roughing each other up. Two, three, four, and there's the disqualifying count on Brown. He's lost the match. Outside of the ring in the count of four was what Nicholas was saying over the roar of this crowd here. Brown was disqualified. It's a law in Illinois that if a man does not break a hold, when instructed to by the referee, he's automatically counted out. The time, 10 minutes and 48 seconds. The winner on a disqualification, the great Balfo. So there you have it. Johnny Balbo winning over Bozo by virtue of a disqualification of Mr. Brown. This is Russ Davis. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>